it's really hard. You kind of think almost someone was looking out for you. The fact that the cooks are sitting here, safe at home, is nothing short of a miracle. If I would see that car as a bystander or someone looking at it, I'm saying people died in that car. And the fact that we didn't amazes me. Just yesterday, this is them trapped under the weight of a massive power pole that crashed on top of their car, barely missing them. They walked away with a few bruises and scars. Mr. Cook has five stitches. It couldn't have picked a more perfect place to hit. It, it saved our lives. I have no doubt. The couple says they've been driving on Marginal Way, getting ready to check out the jets at Boeing Field like they do every day. Then suddenly, they saw a flash. Right after the flash, I saw the pole start falling to the ground. And I thought, wow, I guess we'll have to find another way out. But just, you know, yeah. it's like, you know, well, they're probably dirty words or something like that. But then after the first pole came tumbling down, 24 more poles came down like dominoes. Mr. Cook says he swerved, but the pole landed right in the center between he and his wife, the car roof caving in. Because it, if it had hit the glass rather than the roof, it would have just come through. Same thing with the sunroof. And the firefighters told us that had it hit on to the left or right, it would have come down on top of one of us. Rescuers frantically worked to get them out after crews faced a tricky challenge of deactivating live wires. I started to open the door and, and I heard someone say, I don't know who it was, um, that's not a good idea because those wires might be live. And I said, okay, I'll stay right here. They were rushed to Harborview miraculously alive. In 31 years of marriage, a son and grandkids, they've never been through anything like this, but they have many reasons to be thankful. It wasn't my time. And besides, I decided I wanted to live to be a hundred.